Except a character has at least fifth level or third level to cast at their levels. Oh, hey. H how, how are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah. Oh, no, n not at all. Uh, I was just <laughs> brushing up on my rules for D&D. &D. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, you wanted me to check the authenticity of uh, some collectibles that you bought. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Can I just uh, get your name really quick? And a phone number that we can reach you at. Cool. Um, all right. Let me just get some stuff in here. For appraisal. Enter. Okay. Cool. Yep, I have you in the system already. Uh, so what do you have for me today? Uh, let me actually move the keyboard out of the way here. So you bought these online. Cool. Okay, so what do you have first? Oh, cool. Okay. So this is a Hot Wheels Captain America car. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it definitely looks real. I, I, you, you bought these online, you said? Yeah. So this bend here is definitely going to decrease the value. Um, keeping it in the box, obviously, is the best way to go. But uh, there are a couple in this set. And you have, you have, okay, you also have the Iron Man one, okay. Yeah, so far so good. It's the, just the packaging itself. That I like to just inspect this first, just the packaging. Uh, besides this bend here, it is pretty okay. Okay, so I'm seeing something here. Um, you can re I mean, looking at it, you can tell. But here on this edge, if you can see this, it does look like it's a little worn. So it's not perfectly straight, as you can see right there. So that also decreases the value of this. Let's take a look over on this side as well. As you can tell right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So all these, and I know that's being very, very uh, picky about it, but as a collector, you definitely have to be. So far, so good. Now, just a quick sec, I'm gonna take the light to it. This will let us see any scratches or anything on the box okay yeah so so far yeah besides that there that little groove it's in decent shape. I, I would say this is in definitely decent shape. Uh, there are some scratches on here, but it is in the box, and that is the most important thing. Yeah. Let's take a look at the back really quick. We're just trying to inspect this for any sort of... So this is something you don't, you can't see without the light, you know, really shining onto it. But there is this, you can kind of tell right there. This little groove, yeah, so that also, um, and that happens because of the actual, um, the case that this is in, the plastic, pushing up against the cardboard, it's glued on there, so when uh, it's been there for a while, you can kind of see that is where the plastic meets, yep, that is the actual outline, so that damaging the plastic see here ending on the sound that it makes you can tell how old the cardboard is as well I'm <laughs> you will never find another collector as thorough as I am I'm really not liking this thing here I don't want to mess with it anymore but uh, maybe even ah, yeah Cardboard definitely seems relatively new, and okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna 
bring the keyboard back up here. So I'm just going to jot down the notes for the Captain America Hot Wheels car. Car seems to be in relatively good condition. Further inspection is required. Story. And okay, so just here looking at this box, uh, definitely, definitely a little worn, but uh, it's it's okay. Uh, Authenticity-wise, it is. Uh, I, w I would say, just from looking at it now, that it is a legitimate Hot Wheels car. Um, it's kind of hard to fake these things. I, mean, I personally own four Hot Wheels cars that aren't actually made by Hot Wheels. They even have the logo and everything. Um, but there's just certain things you have to look for. Uh, this one is indeed legitimate. All right, so you want me to take a look at the other one, okay? Let me take a look at that one. Oh, this is the Iron Man one. So this is uh, these two are actually part of a set, as you can see back here. Uh, there's the Iron Man vehicle, and back here you can see the Captain America on the back. Okay, this one is definitely in better shape just by looking at the entire box. There's no bend here like the Captain America one, although. It, looking at it from the side here, it is a tiny bit askew. So, unfortunately, that does lower the value a little bit. Just feeling for any scratches on the back of this. Don't feel any. No. Good. Good. Again, this has that little ridge. Um, it's very hard to see without the light, but right there you see that and that is all again from the plastic uh, case that it's in um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the edges now so so far besides this top edge looking pretty good looks like there's a little tiny scuff right there and so far so good so this one definitely in much better shape than your Captain America one <laughs> yeah this Iron Man one definitely looks good let's look over it with the light So again, the plastic is scratched up quite a bit, but just like the other one, but that is definitely fine. Uh, what you really want to worry about is the car itself. Yes. Okay. So far, decent shape. Let's make sure this is an authentic Hot Wheels car. Yes, so again, this one, definitely authentic as well. So I'm just going to jot down the notes for your uh, Iron Man Hot Wheels car. So all in all, both of these are in okay shape. Um, not the very best, but okay. Iron Man, better than Captain America my opinion uh, well everyone's opinion because look at that yeah that is just atrocious I'm sorry but it is all right so what else do you have for me today okay oh cool so this is the Superman Hot Wheels car uh, this one is actually really really cool I, I I am definitely more of a DC fan than a Marvel fan so this actually pleases me a lot that you have this one too uh, so first things first we're gonna take a look at the hanger here just to make sure it is straight and 
that, my friend. That is looking pretty pristine, if I do say so myself. A minor, very minor bend. Although, if you can check right here, there is, uh, the cardboard is a little worn there. So that definitely brings down the value of your Superman Hot Wheels car. Uh, just taking a look at the rest of this thing. Oh, so yeah, again here, more scuffs on the corners, which is, uh, which is fine, you know. So you're damaging this box does decrease the value a little. But collectors still want it for the vehicle inside, and as long as it's in the box, your, your the vehicle stays in pristine condition. Let's take a look at these other edges. So the bottom of this is a little scuffed up again right here. So not as bad as the uh, Captain America, but not as good as the Iron Man either. Okay, the tap test to see just to make sure the, of the authentic cardboard used. Sounds pretty good to me. Yes. The plastic definitely has some give to it, which is good because you don't want it to be so rigid that it doesn't absorb damage when it's either dropped or, you know, who knows what happens to these things, you know. Okay, let's confirm the authenticity of Hot Wheels, yes. So, you can tell by this little marking right here. Uh, we're gonna need the light for this. Do you see those? There's a little, like, a time stamp on there. Um, yeah, so that time stamp, I uh, get that right there. Uh, it's very, very hard to see, but to the trained eye, you can definitely see, or right there, right under the double E on Hot Wheels, you can kind of see the ridges of the thing right here. So that definitely proves that it is a legitimate Hot Wheels a toy. Perfect. Okay, let me just jot down the notes for Superman. Alright. Oh, so you have... One more for me. Okay, cool, yeah. Go ahead. Let me see. Oh. Now this, my friend. Oh my gosh. I haven't... Where did you get this? That's amazing. What, what, what price? What for this thing? Oh my gosh. That is an amazing price. This is a classic Hot Wheels car. Um, the classic Batmobile, if you will, from uh, Adam West's series, TV series. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of Adam West. Uh, no longer with us, but uh, he was my favorite Batman. And uh, just because it was more lighthearted, it was, it, I mean, look at the car. Right. <laughs> um, cool thing is back then uh, the car was definitely more. It was used during the daytime as well as night. So Batman and Robin, they, from what you've seen in today's movies and shows, uh, they are more of a nighttime superhero. Uh, back then, when Adam West was Batman, uh, they they fought crime any time of the day, which begs the question: When was Bruce Wayne ever around? <laughs> but uh, this is an amazing find. These are this is one of the rarest cars, a Hot Wheels car, that you will ever find. Um, probably in the range of. I want to say 
twenty to thirty thousand dollars worth right here. Yeah. Uh, now we just gotta make sure it is legitimate. Um, so let's take a look at this really quick. The hanger again. Let's take a look at that. So a slight bend, which is a tragedy, but that, you know it's yours. <laughs> if, if if this was mine, it would be perfect. Uh, there are a few scuffs though right here scuff there and let's continue looking oh wow wow what happened here it was shipped this way that that is a sad day my friend that definitely almost breaks my heart uh, okay okay so we're I'm seeing something here so it's looking like um yeah Looks like someone tried to open it, or it was opened a very little. You can kind of see the groove in there, yeah. So unfortunately, this definitely, oops, uh, as awesome as this is, is not worth as much as I previously stated. Just because of the damage on here, uh, there's scuffs here and here, and I know the damage is very, very little, but definitely, uh, yeah, a couple there. Let's uh, take the light to it. See, now this one, um, you can really see the groove, the outline of the actual plastic box that it's in. So that also decreases the value slightly. Is this a real... Oh. Well, un... Wow, let me make sure here. I'm not seeing the design over there by the Hot Wheels logo. This box has definitely seen better days. Yes, so uh, just from looking at it now, I would definitely like to, uh, if you'd like to leave it here overnight, we can have our specialists look at it. Uh, more thoroughly, but just from my eye uh, with my light, uh, this is not an authentic Hot Wheels toy. So, unfortunately, yeah, you bought yourself a 50 cent car for how much did you say you paid for it? Two thousand dollars, yeah. So, uh yeah, you may have overpaid on this one. Uh, just from my initial look. Now, if you'd like to leave it here uh, overnight, we definitely do the uh, premium service where we go through, one of our specialists goes through and actually uh, really fine comb tooth this thing. Because, I mean, sometimes they do have the little logo, uh, the, little, the little design on the logo. If So, what I showed you on the Superman one, the design of the logo is right here and the little indentation that they add for the legitimate Hot Wheels cars goes right here right underneath the double E this one does not have it Superman has it Iron Man and Captain America all three have it this one does not um, so it's very rare that they wouldn't put that on there, or if they put it somewhere else, I'm just not seeing it, because this is, uh, I'm just going over it really quickly. But, uh, yeah, if you'd like to leave it overnight, we can definitely take a look at this and make sure that it is a legitimate Hot Wheels toy, because that would be a travesty if you spent uh, that kind of money on this thing for a 50 cent toy. <laughs> Um, so it is 138.25 for the premium service just to get it graded officially. Yeah, sure, sure, definitely. I can definitely keep this one. So we'll do this one. We'll do the premium service on the Batman card. Definitely a good idea. Um, I'll set that aside. Put that right there. We'll inspect it tonight. And uh, we will give you a call back tomorrow uh, to let you know how it fared. Okay. All right. You have a great day. Thank you. All right. That Batmobile car is never going to pass inspection. It is fake AF. <laughs>